It's 2025, let's see your Google account password. Now, the very first thing we'll do is on your phone, we're gonna swipe all the way over and see if the password is stored on your iPhone or Android or computer. So we're gonna go to the app library here and we're gonna search for passwords and open up the passwords app here. You can see this is a built-in app to the iPhone in the newest operating system. All we need to do here is we will just search for Google and you can see it pops up with a bunch of different accounts. Now on here, I can just tap on the account and you'll be able to see it shows username and under that is the password. So essentially I can just tap on it to reveal what that password is to get into my Google account and to be able to copy it if I want. However, let's say this doesn't necessarily work or you don't necessarily have an iPhone, you have another device, an Android or computer, what I would also recommend doing is getting into Google Chrome because potentially Chrome has stored that password as well. So let's search for Chrome here and open it up. And once we're in Google Chrome, you can see at the very bottom right are those three dots. So let's tap on those and swipe all the way over and you can see password manager here. Now it will show you all of the passwords that are again stored associated with your Google account on Google Chrome. So on here, again, all I need to do is search for Google and tap on it, and it'll pop up with all of my Google accounts as well as all of the passwords. I can just tap on it to reveal what that password is. Now, if you don't see that password in either of these two options, you can always just open up a web browser here. And what we'll do is we'll tap on your profile at the very top right here. And let's say I'm gonna hit add an account and you don't know what that password is, there is an option to be able to just tap on, once you enter that email address here, you can hit forgot password. So essentially tap on forgot password and try to recover it. It will send you an email to recover that password or set a new one or they'll send a text message. I know this isn't necessarily going through the process of finding your old password, but you can always reset it to something new if you really aren't able to find it in either your device, maybe the password is stored on your device or a web browser that you commonly use, Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, stuff like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.